This week we are in Crete, Greece, and this week is Fantasy Suites. Today's my date with Peter, and if all goes well, I'm gonna get down bow, bow, in the Fantasy Suites. See that boat over there? We're gonna go sail on it. Oh, can't wait. I'm the king of the world, and I'm the queen. Do you know how much I like you? I hope a lot. Most beautiful girl in the world. He is so sexy and sweet. Total package of what I want. It's been such a long time since I've expressed my love for someone. Here's to fate bringing us together. Sinikasas. Sinikasas. That's cheers in Greek. You inspire me. You push me. You challenge me. It made me realize how in love with you I am. Yay! Use this key to stay as a couple in the fantasy suite. Chris Harrison. Well, thanks, Chris. I think it's really important to have more time. Oh, a windmill. Peter, again? I promise it wasn't me this time. I need this time to feel connected with my heart, my body, and my soul. One, two, three. Oh, man. Peter, that was not even close. I love you. If Peter was a Greek god, he'd be like Zeus, and I'd be Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love. We came together as one. Mic drop, Hannah's mine. So excited to see my girl. I missed you, girl. Today, we're going to indulge and relax. Welcome to massage. Please remove your robes. Woo, girl. Woo! Hard for me to stay on the table. I just want to pounce. You're making me blush. Shh. I like kissing you too much. I like kissing you too much. It's a good problem to have. I am 1000% positive that physical intimacy is not a problem with Tyler. I'm on top of the world right now with you. There is a concern for me with our physical relationship. I just want to be with you. I don't want to go to the fantasy suite with you and have sex because I feel like we need to explore our emotional relationship. I would never pressure you to do anything. I do love you and I can't wait to spend more time just us. Cheers to the woman I love and cherish and want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> I'm so thankful you respected my boundaries. It was the hottest thing. He has respect to me more than any man ever has. Ever. Makes me emotional watching him walk away this morning. Today I have a great day planned for us in the Greek village. I missed you. <laughs> They call this life water. It is a typical Greek Viagra. Did he say Viagra? Oh, what the hell? That is not water. Together, it looks very beautiful. How are you going to decide? You put me on the spot. I think you will know from first look. Well, I want to be sure. Can I talk to you? What's wrong? You're scaring me. I need some clarity on Luke. What makes you hold on to something so uncertain? A feeling. I know that you care about my heart, but you have to let me figure it out on my own. Are we good? How can you tell me that you're falling in love with me, but then keep someone who's been so toxic? I want you to trust me. I just don't want the person I love to fall for someone like him. That makes me mad. I gotta get up for a second. Hey, hey. I'm just so... Ugh. I, I just have to keep explaining myself. Just trust me. You're so beautiful and uh, I just love you. My soul is invested in this. <laughs> I'm more sure about you than I've ever been. And I'm so sure about you, Mr. Jed Y. I know that she knows I'm the one. We are going to Santorini. This is so crazy. I'm so happy to be here with a guy who loves me. I don't know what the church is teaching him, but that boy can kiss. Cheers to a beautiful day in Santorini and to our relationship. Let's talk about marriage. I want it the way I want it. I want to make it known how things are supposed to be. 
Let's talk about sex. It's incredible and beautiful, but only when it's in the guidelines of marriage. Mm -hmm. The marriage bed should be kept pure. I am saving myself for marriage. I just want to make sure you're not going to be sexually intimate with the other relationships here. Like, crazy situation. If you told me that you had sex with one or multiple guys here, I would 100% leave. I'm a grown woman and I can make my own decisions. You're not my husband. Okay, I'm willing to, to take a step back. You're judging me when you don't have the right. You know what else is a sin? Pride. And I think this is a pride thing. I don't want to be misunderstood again. It's what you said. What you're saying is not okay. Uh, I, I slipped up. You've already broken my heart through this. And I've broken my own heart because I've allowed this to keep happening. Can you give me a chance to speak? I wanted someone who could get along with everyone. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is just like a big F you. Can I please have a minute? Who without sin throws the first stone? You know what you're doing? You're holding the stone right at me. I have prayed for clarity and now I finally have it. You are not my husband. I don't even care about you saying that you found clarity. It's over. I feel like you owe me at least a minute. I don't owe you anything. There's something in me that's refusing to get in that vehicle. I have had sex. Say what? And Jesus still loves me. I did it in a windmill. You probably want to leave now. Oh, and guess what? I did it a second time. Can I pray over you? No. I answer to the Lord. I do not answer to Luke. I have finally figured it out for myself, and I never have to deal with that man again.